The show is brought to you in part by Old World Pizza featuring Fat Ricky's with store locations in Romeoville, Shorewood, and Orland Park. Great food, great service. Visit a location near you today where you're treated like an all-star every day. Hey, hey, it's the Rooster by the SouthwestSportsNest.com. Lincoln Way East made a strong case for this week's number one spot in Roosters All-Area Top 10 poll after beating defending 5A state champ Montini on the road Friday night 20-14. Griffin quarterback Tim Fusel was and is the story, rushing 16 times for 113 yards that included a 16-yard keeper for a touchdown. East jumped out to a 14-0 lead, but Montini would battle back and get to within a score. However, in the end, the Griffin defense was simply too physical and smashed the Broncos spread offense. East senior linebacker Kyle Langendurfer was on the loose and scored a couple of sacks, one of which sent Bronco junior quarterback Alex Wills off on the field with the stretcher. The Griffins defense is a force to be reckoned with this season as it has been in years past, but emerging star in Fusel, who replaced the 2011 Gatorade Player of the Year Blake Winkler, could be the difference as East looks to get back to the state finals. East travels to Lockport Friday night while the Broncos will regroup and host Wheaton Academy in week three. A lot of opportunities on offense, but we didn't take advantage of it. And we got to keep making strides forward to get better, especially these next couple of weeks heading into conference. And our defense is just still doing amazing. And I love those guys. And that past two weeks, they're the reason why we won the game, the defense. And we got great senior leaders on our team, great captains that just keep pushing forward. Still, that first half, you guys came off right off the bat, and you guys had a bunch of good drives. We just need to be consistent throughout the whole game. I mean, even, the, even last game, we scored. Just like that, um, the first half, but we couldn't finish in the second half. We just got to keep making strides and stay consistent. I think we'll be fine. You bring a whole new dimension to your offense. With running, running the ball. I mean, you did that ziggy zaggy. We ran to the right, then you ran all the way to the left. And you know, I got it on film. It'd be great. It'd be a great highlight. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, that's one of my strengths is my ability to run. I mean, that's what I'm most confident in. But I've also got great receivers that I can throw to when I have to. You guys have two. Uh, Unbelievable uh, out of conference opponents to start the season. Now you're going to be starting the, uh, the blue pretty yeah. soon here. So, yeah. what, what do you think uh, having this confidence going into the next? I mean, weeks, like? it makes me confident because we know that as an offense, we didn't play our best, and coming and doing that and beating two great teams like Carmel and Montini, um, it gives us confidence that when we do play our best, I think we're going to be set. Big Tone here with uh, outside linebacker Kyle Langendurfer. I hope I got it right. I'm not really good at pronouncing last names. Outside linebacker. You guys just beat a, a state three-time champion team. How do you feel? Great. Uh, great team win. I uh, had a little adversity with uh, both sides of the ball. I mean, some pe stupid penalties in the beginning on D and uh, offense, you know, having some struggles. But they drove it down the first drive, set the tone a little bit, and... I mean, team effort to finish that there, but great team. But, uh, I mean, we definitely need to clean some stuff up. But once we do that, I think we'll be a force to be reckoned with. Okay, i got to ask this question, okay? It's been bothering me the whole winter, whole summer. You guys made it to the second round of the playoffs two years in a row. Yep. How do you get past? Um, our motto this year is rebirth, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Take one step at a time, one game at a time. doesn't matter if it's conference, non-conference like this one. One game at a time, and just keep building on it, and just don't look ahead, because that's when you get beat. And even if you were as good as our last year's team when got all the studs in the world but just can't finish, I mean, we're looking ahead. So one day at a time, rebirth, look away, East football. How you doing? This is Big Toner Sports Desk. I'm with Nick Calandro, the bruising fullback of the uh, Lincoln Way East uh, Griffiths. Tell me about their defense. They got a great defense, you know, great team, and we knew that coming into this game. We just prepared our best for this team, and we did all we could. You know, their line, they had a great stack line, and, you know, we knew they were good coming in, so we just prepared and went from that out. Ball control-wise, you guys were good. How about your line? How good is your line blocking they're, for you? You know, our line, they're great. You know, they're good at improving at what they do, and by no means are we ever perfect, but we know that we improve week by week, and we fix our mistakes, and we get the job done. So what, is, what does Lockport bring? Lock. I'm not, I couldn't tell you. We really take it one week at a time. And this week, we're only focused about Montini. Next week, it's Lockport. 
I couldn't tell you. So. You guys gearing up for a bowling bird? They come home to you guys, right? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, I hear they're whooping on Romeoville, but that's not hard. <laughs> but we'll be ready for them. We just take it one week at a time, and we'll be there. I was proud of the kids' efforts. They made a commitment to, to work hard each day, and things get more and more game experience. And things are starting to happen, but we got a lot to learn from, too. we got to have a little more killer instinct. We have an opportunity to put a game away. I don't think we did that, obviously. Uh, we certainly could have had opportunities where we weren't uh, covering onside kick at the end of the game. It could have been a big deal. So we got to finish better. Uh, we, we do use that word finish a lot. I don't think we did that tonight, uh, but we're not going to dwell on that tonight. We'll fix that uh, on Monday. Right now, we're just going to be happy coming away from the uh, Walmart right here. Okay. But our kids hung in there and... Uh, you know, I was proud of our second half effort. We were uh, unable offensively to really find any answers. Their defense was very sound, very solid, very physical. And I think it was the physical play of the game that, that was the difference. You said a few days ago this was the toughest uh, defense you faced this year. I thought it was going to be. Now I think I know it's going to be. <laughs> That was a very physical team. They have very sound fundamental football. They don't make any mistakes. You don't fool them. Uh, they're really a complete defense. They're, they're very, very uh, quick. Uh, they, they fly to the ball. They have great pursuit. But just, you can't fool them. So, uh, a, great, a great defensive team like that really is going to make us better. It'll, it'll help us. Been a production of SouthwestSportsNest.com, home of the playmakers and game changers. Remember, do your best. Get on the nest.